we got a brand new topping guide here for you and some pretty neat stuff with all of cookie in today's episode thank you for tuning in as always down below you can find the timestamps where i break down this particular cookie we talk about some of that coolness here and we'll hang on to it for a second additionally we'll give you the toppings of choice in order to be successful with this cookie and an alternative look as we always do and go for a run with this one here for you today so thank you for tuning in as always questions comments do let me know and come swing by the discord server say hello and join our great community there as well all right olive cookie so this is a brand new cookie here with the third installment of the golden cheese kind of updates giving us all the golden cheese cookies for now for the most part um certainly many more obviously um however olive cookie the big thing that you need to know this is a supporting cookie a rear cookie however this is the one key thing that i did want to call it that's different uh right now is this particular moveset bat attack and we'll show you here in a second what i'm saying um all of cookie and meaning all of cookie runs off as though she's forgotten her expiration equipment then returns chased by a cauldron of bats she trips and the bats fly over her to attack enemies in the front of all of cookie the bats differ in types depending on their color so they apply debuffs and stun enemies with a certain chance so depending on the color this is what what matters so here is what's really important you see this and you see this two different types of elemental damage which is a first yes i believe so with that black bat damage per hit 430 percent of attack blue bat damage per hit 218 so just a regular blue bat zap to 24 percent 25 percent damage for five seconds every one second stacks up to one red bat per hit 260 percent of attack red bat burn 29.7 percent damage for every five seconds uh one second stacks up to one all type damage 45 percent damage for 12 stacks up to one time and then stun two seconds with a 50 percent chance so we have a lot going on here which is absolutely crazy two elemental type damages um, and then the blue zap there as well. Looking forward to showing this move set absolutely here for you today. So those are all key pieces and all things that we need to keep in mind when we go to all of Cookie's toppings here. But before we do, we're gonna absolutely level up all of Cookie here. Yes, we're gonna make that investment here for you today. Boom, look at that. I'm gonna need a stronger shovel now. You will, Olive Cookie, that is correct. On top of that, we're gonna use our promotion. Yes, even stronger, Olive Cookie. However, now that we have completed that for you here today, we will now move to our toppings. Boom, let's go ahead and move over here. Now, a couple of the key pieces for this particular cookie, you do wanna make sure, because I know many of you ask me in the comments as always, you wanna use the right ones for you. So obviously Draconic Chocolate is not the one that you're gonna use here, but in question, you can always figure out which one's there. You do wanna use the cheese or what are called the resident toppings. There are a bunch of those. Um, that you can put on all of cookie should you use that or decide to do that with your cookie however regardless these are the toppings that you want to be on you want to be on five swift chocolates that's right so we're going to add our five right here for today there you go and you can always tweak your cookie and that's why we use these guides uh, for you as well and this is what's going to really matter so not only do you have the swift chocolates because we're focused on cooldown, the couple pieces that you do want to think about in terms of those bonus effects a lot of that amplifier was based off attack and then additionally you want more cooldown in order to make this cookie just click and keep moving very very fast and constantly get those bats going so the other pieces that are very good here is damage resist will be a squishy cookie um so attack uh cooldown and damage resist are really going to be your tier ones um hp defense uh and then additionally i would say maybe apply uh debuff resist and stuff like that it could be a good tier two and then all the rest there for you and kind of a tier three so that is going to be the key to this cookie now that second option that we talked about is if this cookie is too squishy for you you can certainly go five solid almonds in order just to survive better depending on where you're playing or which one you are playing pve pve 
Um, however, I recommend this one in particular, uh, again, depending on where you're at. And then don't forget, again, resonant cheese toppings. Um, if you're looking to figure out where those are quickly before we go for our run, those generally are going to be in your storage. Um, on top of that, these are usable here so you can see that and then you can grab your 26 grab five of these and off you go all right so that is again that recommendation there for you let's go ahead and take a run with the team as we always do here we're going to go all the way over to regular story mode all the way back over to our all of enlightenment we're going to go to 829 and then we're going to go ready and now we got to be ready with our team as well. So here we go. Let's edit out and then let's remove all of these. And see if we can run this. Should be able to. But just all of cookie 46. Okay. It's going to be close actually. So we definitely want to make sure that we have a healer in there. There we go. We can go with those two. Perfect. And off we go. Bam! Got our healer in there. We'll take off our auto. Here's the moveset. Ooh, red bats. Moveset. Red bats. There we go. Woo! Blue zap bats. All right, here we go. Blue zap bats. And on to our final one here. Nope, nope, never mind. One more after this. Here we go. On to the boss. And here is our run. Which bats? Blue zap bats. There you go. Look at that. Zap attack. Don't forget that. It is a zap. Yes, that makes a huge difference depending on what you run into there. And that, my friends, is our successful run with all of Cookie. Dun dun dun. Giant sand jelly worm. Get on it. That's another guide for you. Check that one out. All right. Here we go. Pulling this all back together for our all of Cookie here today. We had so much fun running through with this one and taking things on as we always do for you here Look on the here. channel ancient relics are very fragile very true all of cookie all right so that concludes today's episode again we gave you the breakdown of all of cookie we gave you the toppings the key piece there to use the cheese toppings resonant toppings um, additionally kind of a dichotomy there in terms of what you should be using but first and foremost always swift chocolate to reduce the cooldown speed so you can get take advantage of all those bats that we saw there um, just like mine and then additionally on top of that you can consider those almond ones um, damage resist is very important for a squishy cookie like this now lastly we went through a run as well so if you do have more questions if you got more comments do let us know on top of that come swing by the discord server and say hello and i want to say thank you thank you for tuning in i appreciate your support thank you for the likes and the subs as we grow a wonderful community here on top of that down below we have nice ways or other ways to support the channel affiliate links check those things out thank you for that and also we do have memberships so thank you to all the members with that that concludes today's episode and guide for you here on all of cookie toppings um, we have a ton more stuff here on the channel for you to check out like i said other guides like the worms and more things all the time with that we'll see you again soon until next time mithras out of here enjoy all of cookie and all those bats take care